Hi guys out there in YouTube land. Today, well, tonight, early hours of the morning, this is uh, 12 o... 12 o something. 12 o something, I think it's about 12.20 at the moment, in the morning in Australia. I am actually going to be unboxing Destiny. We actually got this one probably about 10 minutes ago, and I am looking forward to unboxing it. I also got the DLC for the upgraded Sparrow, um, and I'll be in... I'll be inserting that one when I get onto the PS4 in probably about 20 odd minutes or so. So it's time to unbox this thing. By the way, I'm... Ah, oh, yes! I should also See, introduce... I, I'm just there and he just completely forgets about me. Yeah, sorry about that. I should introduce Robert. I'm, I'm uh, the ghost one of, of gamers past. Yes, this one doesn't know much about gaming, so his reactions to these should be actually quite funny. Yes, I'm a gaming um, virgin. Yes, the gaming virgin. He'll be unboxing one of the loot crates in That's the up and coming months. Um, you will still get a normal unboxing from me, and then I will uh, hand it, it over to as him. As a gaming virgin, there's nothing better than seeing a big box. You should behave. Okay. I like how they've actually done the box inside. And I'm not saying what I... Yes, we'll leave that one alone, I think. Okay. Ooh, it opens up like that. All right, on the inside of the lid, just here it has some saying. We are surrounded by darkness. We, will, we always have been. Perhaps that is why the train traveller chose us. For even death cannot extinguish our light. Well, when you close it, it is enclosed in darkness. We've got a smart ass. <laughs> All right, so first things first, the cool steel book for the game. I do like the look of that. I'll hand that one over to Rob. Okay, so I'm supposed to open this up and go wow. <laughs> so you've got an expansion pass. Does that mean these sort of expand in water? No. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to pull out of this box, which will be the last thing out of this box, is a book. Mm, I yes. love how they've done this. It actually feels really nice. And inside this book, actually it's a folder. We have the Arms and Armament Manual, or book. Obviously that's meant to look like something from World War II. So we've got a whole heap of guns mm. and weapons that um, are prototypes, I'm sure, are used in some of the game. I'll find out more when I do get to play some more. Um, as you already guessed from one of my previous videos, I was lucky enough to get the beta version and play the limited beta, which I found absolutely amazing. It really has that new smell. It does. Mm. You, you can have your We've got a little letter here, um, but I'll read it out to you. This is not the way it has been. These worlds were once ours. On a fleet of clumsy rockets, we hurtled to the stars, fueled by a million miracles we couldn't possibly understand. We danced on the benches of newborn seas, celebrating our new life, and we were happy. These are not you legends. You were waiting for something then, weren't you? I was. About the dancing on sea. Yes, we'll leave how, that one alone. How, how very biblical. These are not legends, as some have come to believe. The wild frontiers beyond our city walls still bear the hallmarks of our ascent and our destruction. I'm glad you seem to say ascent. Trees once the done. <laughs> turn to stone. Violent fissures in the ground where warm seas once leap, lap the shores. Great cities mm. taken by our enemies and broken by time. If you are brave enough, you may see signs. See these signs for yourself. If you are wise, you may return with stories of your own. This is your charge. Listen to the voices of our past as they call out to you from across the gulfs of space. Look upon your, the relics you now possess and heed the words of these great guardians who came before you. Add your light to theirs. Bring it back to the heart of our enemies. Burn away the darkness that threatens to engulf us once and for all. For the union between the past and and the future is now. We have uh, postcards. One for Venus. Oh, I'm sure she'd be pleased with that. 
if I could read Russian, I would read this one out. Um, so if anyone can tr translate that one, good luck. I have no idea. Maybe it's an acronym. Well, we have we Freehold on the planet of Mars. I'm ignoring you a little bit here. And another Russian one. We also have what looks like. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll ignore the acronym because of the C. Ah! We have the little map that comes with it as well. Though so I've still yet to. Uh, these worlds were once ours. I'll figure that one out a little bit later on, I think. Like it does a little bit, I have to agree with you there. Um, so I'll pop all this stuff back in the little book that it came in. Came in. I do like the feel of this book, and then I'll hand it to Robert, and then he can tell me what he thinks. I want to feel too. You'll get to feel. Ah! This is Daniel putting his book back in the slot. <clears throat> this is what you get for a, a gaming virgin. Now, I hand this to Robin, let me, and then he can tell me what he thinks of the feel. Yeah, actually, yes, it does. It actually does feel like something old. Not something borrowed or blue, but it definitely feels like something old. It feels kind of good. waxy. Yeah. It's got that kind of waxy... Uh, waxy guess. old feel. Yeah. You don't, yeah. don't have it near a naked plane. No. But that concludes the unboxing for Destiny's limited edition. I unfortunately missed out on the Ghost edition, which came with the actual ghost from the game, and it sits in your room and it can actually talk as well. Unfortunately, I missed out on that one this time, but... Um, you can't really say it next time, can you? No. Uh, I might be able to get it on eBay one day when someone sells theirs. I will have some gameplay footage coming up You've already seen what it looks like on the Moon, Mars, and Venus, and in the Cosmodrome. I will actually add some gameplay that I haven't actually played yet, so I will get back to you on that one. It will be a couple of days in the making for me, but it will be a couple of days in the making, maybe three or four, uh, but for you, you'll get the video shortened, and you'll be able to watch it. All right, so just an offside um, I did get asked a question the other day, is Destiny going to be a single player or is it going to be able to be played multiplayer in split screen format on a PS4? I just had a look at the back of the box. Unfortunately, no, it's not going to be a split screen. It's only single player completely. But um, the network player is 1 to 12. PlayStation Plus subscription is required for PS4. Um, you need your 40 gigabyte minimum for your hard drive. Obviously, it's got your DualShock, HDMI, and you can also have remote play through your PS Vita as well, which is an added feature, which is <coughs> pretty cool. Um, but yes, there is... Uh... What was the expansion pass? I never actually looked at the expansion pass, did I? Yeah, I, I was having a fiddle with the pass, but that meant nothing to me. Blooper reel there. No, I said with, not up. Mm. Ah, cool. So with the limited edition, um, the expansion pass, as I was just looking into it. Which bit is the expansion pass? This one. Just a little bit of paper yep. with a code on the back. Um, if you do actually see what, my what, codes... So what's all that other stuff in there? I will go through that in a sec. Oh, okay. Um, if you do see the codes on my back of my cards, you won't be able to use them. I've already put them in, in probably... 10 minutes of doing this video. In other now, words, they've already been inserted. Exactly. He loves his double entendres there. I actually wasn't intending that to be one, but if you want to do I will it, take it that way. That's fine. You now, can, the you expansion, can take it any way you like. The expansion code that I've got here allows me to get the expansion it. 1 and 2, which is the Dark Below and the House of Wolves. They will come out at some point later in the year. I'm looking forward to them. The uh, other two things in this little thing. Oh. Okay. Uh, I've also got the Collector's Edition Digital Content, which is the player emblem, ghost casing, and a player ship variant. And 
I've also got a code for the arm, um, Vanguard Armory. So you get one of these as well. And also on the other side was this one. And, ooh, a one month PlayStation Plus trial. Not that I really need that. My subscription doesn't end until July or June, July next year anyway. So, so when you finish the trial, is it found guilty or innocent? So, if you're ever looking for friends, look up Cod Sandman 6969 You'll find me on PS4. Um, I won't because I don't. This one won't play because he doesn't play games. Um, like I said in the start, we started, said at the start of the video, he's a gaming <coughs> virgin. Um, on that note, I am off to play Destiny. I'll probably be up until 5am playing it, but it's worth it. It is a very good game. I enjoyed it when I did play the beta a couple of months ago when it did come out. And I have been excited for this game since then. So I'll be bringing you some more gameplay footage uh, in the next few days of Destiny. This is the PS4 version. Um, and he's flaring. The and he's flaring. Um, Nothing like the flare. I do know it has come out on Xbox One, PS3, and 360 as well. Um, if you do like this video and like the other ones, please like, share, subscribe. Um, all the details are down in the bottom box below. Um, so it's going to be the best. It is one of the better games that I've played. Well, actually, it is the best game I've played this year since Call of Duty Black Ops 2 a couple of years ago. I am missing out Call of Duty Ghosts. I wasn't a fan of how they took that one. Um, and it's not just me. There is a lot of people out there that have said the same thing. So I'm going to say goodbye now. And I'll see you in my next video. You'll see Robert over here. So you'll see Robert here in the uh, next Loot Crate unboxing. That's the stuff. And um, that will happen this month a bit later on when I do get one the day? Uh, between the 20th and the 27th, I think it is. I don't know when it will arrive, but it kind of varies because kind of we're in Australia here. Mm. I also want to give a big okay. shout out to the uh, staff at EB Games at Arndale. Um, really great guys there. Um, if you're in Adelaide, in my area, always go there. They're really friendly and great staffed. Um, on that note, we will say goodbye now. Bye. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Ciao. Bye.